What's up guys, Parker here. Wanted to bring you a quick video today on how to highlight the current period in your data. I get this question asked fairly often, so I thought I'd make a video about it. It just takes a little bit of DAX and conditional formatting. So as you see in uh, on the screen right now, you see that the last column is purple while all the others are gray. It's because this purple column, uh, the data is within my current period. Um, so we're drilled down to the month level. You see that we're in January, 2019, and since today, uh, this video is coming out on January 29th, 2019. Uh, it is in the same month as um, the current period. So as we drill up, we'll see that this functionality follows the hierarchy. So we are currently in 2019. So our 2019 um, column is highlighted purple, while the 2018 column is gray. And as we drill down into 2019, we drill down into the quarter level, and we see that since we're in quarter one of 2019, that's gonna be purple. And if we drill down further, we see the purple bar is now January. So it's always going to highlight the current period that we're currently on in our hierarchy. Um, just one thing to note, we can turn on the single drill down, and as we drill into 2018, you see that none of the bars are purple. Um, they're all gray because they are not in our current period. But as we drill into 2019, we have the same functionality that we want. And since we actually only have quarter one and January so far, they're uh, only purple. So this is really easy to set up. So let's go ahead and dig into it. So I'm going to drill up to the top level and then back into the months because it's easier to see that way and expand some, some panes over here. So I've already created a DAX measure for how to um, basically use a measure in the conditional formatting, but we'll go ahead and get rid of it. We'll delete that and create a measure from scratch. Um, and let's go ahead and get rid of tooltips. There we go, so this is just our basic graph, everything's green. Let's go ahead and create a measure. And we're gonna call that is last period. And we're going to set this equal to, we're going to start with a variable. I'm going to call this variable current period. And we're going to set that equal to max. And in my data, my date column is just called date. So this is basically just getting whatever value um, the chart is looking at for the date. Um, we are going to return. And now we're going to have a basic if statement. So we're going to type in date. And following that, we're going to type in year. So we're going to get uh, the year value of the current period. We're going to get the month value of the current period. And we're going to set the day equal to 1. So, for example, since today is January 29th, 2019, it would be getting the year 2019, the month January, and setting the day equal to 1. So it'll always round down the date uh, down to the first of the month. And that is a good uh, practice because it allows us to compare to another date that's the first of the month. So it's really easy to make comparisons that way. So if that date equals date year today, so same kind of trick here, but we're using today instead of current period, month uh, today, one so basically if it's the same first of the month as today then we want to return a one else we'll return a zero and that's our entire measure so i already have the conditional formatting set up but let's go ahead and get rid of that um so i can revert to defaults so we want to come to data colors and then advanced controls and in advanced controls, we have a couple of options on how to conditionally format. Go ahead and select rules. So we're going to select based on rules, based on uh, the is last period function we just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, if the value is zero, I want that to just be a normal gray color. If the value is one, I want to make that the same purple we've been looking at. As you click OK, there you see we have our conditional formatting all set up. And just to show you, this does track through the different hierarchies. So as we drill down, we see quarter one 2019 is highlighted. 
and drill down again, it's January 2019, it's highlighted. So just taking another quick look at that, um, at that measure. So basically what we're doing is we're grabbing the, basically just the current date, each one of these bars and getting the current date. Uh, and then we're checking to see if the first of the month of our current date equals the first of the month of today. And if it does so, it'll tell you if it's in the current year, if it's in the current month, or if it's in the current quarter. So we're just setting it equal to one or zero and then using those values to conditionally format in the bar chart conditional formatting. So that's really the whole trick. Uh, pretty easy to do once you know how to do it. Hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.